Exactly. The ones who call themselves low and cause everybody else high, that is the true saint. Not the one who calls themselves high, sits on a high stool and lets everybody else serve them. Look at the stories of our gurus. When the Sangat would come to them, the gurus would just go and just wash their feet and give them food and do all that stuff. So much so that the people didn't know that the person washing our shoes and looking after our shoes was actually the guru that we came to meet. They didn't know. They said, oh, there's just some guy, he's out there, he's cleaning all our shoes. And they said, where's the guru? He said, he's that guy over there cleaning all your shoes. Because they don't entertain their own story. They're not interested in their story. They're interested in making everyone else's story better. They're helping everyone else. Yeah? But this stuff doesn't come easy. You have to be able to spot your ego. This is where Sangat comes in, where the other Sangat can start saying, you're not, your ego is getting a bit out of control. Let me help you. This is where Barney comes in. Every day, Barney reminds you about your ego. This is what the whole Guru Granth Sahib, this is why we bow down to the Guru Granth Sahib. Because it shows you your ego. It shows you the source of your suffering and it shows you how to be happy. Isn't that something worth bowing down to? That actually shows you this is how not to get sad anymore. This is how to get really happy. That's why we read and we have this relationship with this Barney. That's why we're constantly reading these Shabbats. Because the Shabbats is showing you, don't engage in your mind. Don't engage in your story. That's the whole point of the Guru. And then you hang around with other people say, this is what the Guru said, I don't really understand it, can you help me? And then we're getting each other to help each other understand this better. Sangat and Guru, so important. And we have a constant practice of Naam all the time, reminding ourselves, I'm not going to engage in my story. This is not about me, this is about you. What is the whole point of Naam Simran? To realize that that aliveness inside us isn't me, otherwise we can create another ego out of that. My aliveness, I found my aliveness, check me out. Any time there's a statement within your head that starts with I am, you know it's an ego. I am very kind. I am a nice person. It's still the ego. And that I am is the source of your suffering and pain and the troubles in your life. The you are is the light with inside you. You can create an ego that says, I'm such a sinner. No one is as big a sinner as me. That can be an ego as well. But you have to know within yourself. I can't tell you. You have to know where that's coming from. Is that coming from a, does everyone know how good a sinner I am? Does everyone see how humble I'm being? You know, if you're being humble, so check whether everyone knows how humble you are. You have to be able to tell that. This is why this is something that can't be told. This is something that can't be taught. You have to know within yourself. Am I doing it out of ego? You have to know your ego. You have to know your light and you have to know your ego. And the only way you're going to do that is you've got to spend time with them. You have to get a meditative practice that allows you to spend time with them. Yeah? And you have to have a guru that shows you this is what ego looks like. This is what non-ego looks like. The Guru gives you all of that. The Guru gives you this wisdom all the time. That's why it's really worth reading. The Guru Granth Sahib is really worth reading. It's not worth just always going matatik and putting some money down and saying, thank you, see you next week. You know, thank you for giving me words that I don't understand in a language that I don't understand. <coughs> I'll just go have some langad now. That's how we treat the Guru, right? But the Guru isn't something that you bow down to. The Guru is something that you read. You have to spend time with it. You have to read it. And why would you want to spend time with a Guru? Not because of some God in the sky. Because the Guru is showing you about you. The guru is going to show you how to make you happy. And how you make yourself happy is not believing in some guy. How you make yourself happy is you see what is causing my sadness. And how do I make it better? And notice how that's relevant for everyone. The whole world needs this Guru. They don't all need to become Mr. Singhs and Mrs. Gors. They don't have to. This stuff applies to everyone. But we have to know it first. We have to know this. And then when our friends, no matter what they are, what background they are, what color they are, what country they come from, when they're down, we can say, you know what? I know how to help you. 
because I've helped myself. The Guru has helped me and the Guru can help you. This is the whole purpose of this Guru. It is what we call the Jagat Guru, the teacher of the world, the enlightener of the world. It's there to help everyone. It applies to you and you and you and everyone because it shows you what's inside you. And what's inside you is the same as what's inside me. I'm no better than you. I'm no, I may look religious, you may look at me and say, that guy's really religious. But the alive, aliveness in me is no different to the aliveness in you. The only difference between us is that the Guru has shown it to me and I'm like, I get it, okay. That's it. That's the only difference. That the Guru has shown me, and for me, that, what the Guru has shown me is so important that I say, you know what, I'm going to spend most of my time doing this stuff because this movie isn't really helping me. The rest of the world, they may not know. They spend all of their time in their movie and they don't know. They don't know what we have. They don't know what they have. They don't know within them there is a source of unlimited happiness.